It's your boy, Rank Mountain Biking here, and today I'm back at Big Cedar Wilderness out in Dallas, Texas. Now you may remember the first time I came out here, I checked out their massive drop, hit some new jumps on the pit bull line, oh. and also had a massive crash that ripped my car to shorts. Damn it. Rest in peace. But since then, they've built some new stuff. So of course I had to come back and hit all of it. And the first thing we're gonna check out is a new trail called Senderville. Now this place is perfect for those just starting out or for those who wanna go all out. Now you'll notice that each of the jumps has an easy, casual mountain biker option to the right, where it's just a dirt to dirt tabletop. Nothing too fancy, but still pretty fun. But if you're a ranked, competitive shredder, then there's some big wind kickers to the left that can really send you flying. And it is so much fun. Beautiful. That was a great run. So after Centerville, it's time to head on over to the new drops that they built on the trail known as I Can. I can drop. And these drops aren't too crazy or anything, but they are a really good tool for progression and warming up. Because originally there wasn't really any drops on the trails except for the big ass one. And yes, that is the official name of the drop. But now there's a good way to progress and warm up on some smaller drops before going full scent. But of course, after hitting the smaller drops, I couldn't resist the temptation of hitting the big ass drop. Now it was still just as intimidating as the first time I did it, but I ain't no casual. So let's get it. <sighs> All right, no turning back now. Just full commit. Nailed the landing. That is so smooth now. So fast. So after the big ass drop, there was still one more new thing to check out, and that is the big sender, which is about a 30 foot gap jump that will send you flying. And boy, is it intimidating to look at. But luckily for me, I ran into a fellow shredder named Randy, who was willing to tow me into this massive jump. And boy, was it a fun one. I'll send it.
That was awesome. So after hitting the big sender, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to shred the Pitbull Freeride line. And who better to do it with than the DFW Freerider himself and some other local shredders. If you don't know who the DFW Freerider is, you should definitely go check out his YouTube channel. He shreds pretty much everything in the DFW area and also does quite a bit of work on the Big Cedar Trails. So it's definitely worth checking out. But let's get to shred. So unfortunately, that's all I've got for you guys today. But the good news is, as I'm editing this video, <laughs> the trail builders are already building new jumps on the Senderville line. So if you want to check out their progress, you should definitely head on over to DFW Freeriders YouTube channel to see what they're doing. And you can also check them out on Instagram. And all the dudes that I rode with today, I'll put their Instagram handles in the description below. So if you want to go check them out, you can. And you should also go check me out on Instagram, at Ranked Mountain Biking. But anyway, that's all I've got. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, you gotta go hard to get hard. Thanks for watching.